This is Pastor Eric. I hope you're having a terrific Thursday. I wanted to come to you today with our focus on adults. And uh, we want to focus on the adults of Colorado Springs and the Pikes Peak region, as well as the adults that attend Finished Work Worship Center. It's so important that adults leave a legacy of faith, uh, not only for their own children and grandchildren, but also a legacy of faith for future generations. And that's what we want to see happen at Finished Work Worship Center. Not faith in a preacher, not faith in a denomination or an organization, not faith in the work of our own hands or faith in our confession or even faith in our faith, but we want to have faith in God's redemption plan, which is Jesus Christ and His finished work at Calvary. So I want to encourage you in that today, uh, that you have properly placed faith and leave a legacy. And I want to talk about, just for a few moments, what are some ways today that you as an adult can leave a legacy of proper faith. The first way is for you to, uh, every Thursday, pull up our church website if you can. You can see it here on my surface. And uh, click on that 714 prayer tab. It's on the left-hand side. And pull up those prayer targets and begin to pray for the adults, a finished work worship center for the adults uh, that are in Colorado Springs in the Pikes Peak region. Today's prayer target talks about glorifying Him as God. And it re uh, refers to Psalms 50, verse 15. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Romans 1.21 is also listed on here. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify Him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts and their foolish hearts were darkened. And so we take these verses and we ask that you pray into them for your life and for your family first and then for the adults uh, at our church and in this community that God would get a hold of their hearts and that we would see revival. And so we want to encourage you to pray. Uh, nothing great is ever accomplished that isn't first accomplished in prayer. And so we want you to be a person of prayer. Number two, I want to, to encourage you, you know the saying goes, showing up is half the battle. And I want to encourage you as a pastor to position yourself as often as you can in church. This Sunday coming up, 10.30 a.m., 6 p.m., I want to encourage you to position yourself in a place where God can speak to you. We'll have praise and worship. We'll have special prayer, a relevant message from God's Word, and a chance to respond to God in the altars. And uh, that's how you can uh, be filled up so that you have something to pour out on your jobs and your neighborhood and as you go to the marketplace. And it's so important that we show up and allow God to fill us. And the last thing I want to encourage you with is get some resources. Uh, I'm currently reading this book, The World, the Flesh, and the Devil. Uh, by Jimmy Swagger, and I want to encourage you to get some resources like this. Get this book. Uh, go to shopjsm.org, order this book, and I believe it'll be a blessing to you. It will encourage you in your walk with the Lord and uh, teach you how to have victory over the world, the flesh, and the devil, and that's something that's crucial in the day and age that we're living in. And uh, find some resources like that and uh, get filled up uh, with God's truth. Let's not leave our children, let's not leave our grandchildren's future uh, this next generation's future in the hands of the public school. Amen? Let's not leave it in the hands of uh, corrupt politicians or the perverse influences of Hollywood and the media. Let's ask the Holy Spirit today to help us every day, by example, to leave a legacy of proper faith. Proper faith in Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And I know if we do that, God's going to bless us. We're going to see good things happen here in this community. Thank you. God bless you. Have a Fabulous Thursday.